Hey everyone, it's Chrissy Woods. So for this particular tutorial, I know it defies all the rules of beauty. It is bold eyes and bold lips, but who obeys the rules, right? That's the whole point of making rules so we can break them. So I wanted to pull out my Jackie Ina palette because I really didn't get a chance to use it other than the one time I used it when I did my initial review of it. And I'm so glad I did because this look came out exactly what I envisioned in my head. The colors, as you can see, are very pigmented. Now I did add an extra color from my Anastasia palette to give me just a little bit of pop of color and you'll see that in the video. But everything else is from the Jackie Ina palette. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this sample look using my e.l.f. and Jackie Anna palette, please continue to watch. So to get started, I'm going in with my NYX brow pencil and this is in the shade Brunette. I love this pencil y'all, I got it from Ulta the other day. I initially saw Alyssa Ashley use it and I had to go get this pencil, it is so amazing and the thing I like about it is once I use this product, I don't have to use anything else other than concealer for my brows. So I don't have to set it with anything like I used to go back in with Anastasia and set my other pencils. This pencil does not move. I absolutely love this pencil. Again, it's by NYX and I'll put a link down below where you can get it. So now I'm just going in with my concealer, nothing else has changed. I have used the same concealer by MAC for years and the same e.l.f. brush. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So as you can see, it cleans up my brows beautifully, so that's why I just stick with it. But you can use any type of concealer that you want, whatever gets the job done for you. Now it's time to get ready for some eyeshadow. So I'm going to prime my lid. And um, this is a product by NYX and I'm using it as a base for my eyeshadows. And it's pretty much like a neutral skin tone, but it's going to give these eyeshadows something to stick to. And as you can see, I'm just taking my ring finger and applying it there. Now I'm going in with my um, J Glow palette by Jackie Ina. And I'm taking like a really pointed um, blending brush and I'm going in with that teal color and as you can see I'm concentrating that color on the outer and the inner corners of my eye and it doesn't have to be very neat at all because trust me guys we'll be doing lots and lots of blending for this look so as you'll probably see soon I switch back and forth between the pointy blending brush and the E40 blending brush and basically what I'm doing is getting that product to move towards the crease still leaving the center part of my lid open and just you'll see it more defined and increase in the next clip so what I'm doing now is I'm using my NYX Cosmetics Mix and Medium and this is for folks with hooded eyes like myself it allows the product to stay on the lid without actually getting onto the top part of your eye because with a hooded eye you see when I open my eyes that color will transfer to the crease area because of the way our hood sits so anytime you're gonna put like a shimmer it's always good to use a mix and medium because it causes that product to stay put so I'm going in with that lilac -y type shimmery color out of the palette and I'm placing that on the area that we left open so now I'm just going in with a clean E40 brush and I'm picking up this nice taupey color and I'm going to use that to kind of get some of the harshness away in the crease where that um, teal color that we placed down earlier. And as you can see, it's just blending it out, just making it look a little bit more blown out than what it was before. So now just to add a little bit of color to the lower lash line, I'm taking a little bit of that teal color and I'm just running that right on the lower lash line. And I apologize, I thought I was filming, but I went in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I just went to the area that I would normally highlight under eye. 
And then as you can see, I take it and I drag it up along the side of my eye because I want to give it a very clean look. Um, I didn't use tape, so you could just clean that up with concealer. So that's why I tell you don't worry about being messy because you can always clean it up with concealer and just make it look really, really neat. And I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender. And I'm going in now with just a black liner and I'm lining my waterline. So of course I have to set that under eye concealer and the reason we set our concealer is so that it does not crease and I'm using my Buttercup by Sasha and I'm just using that to set it with my Beauty Blender. So earlier I was telling you guys that I did use a color from my Anastasia palette and that's what I'm putting on my eyes now and this is just a, it just gives my eyes a little, I wanted a little bit more pop and this is the Vermeer and this is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and as you can see I'm just using my finger to apply that color. Again this is optional, I just wanted a little bit more pop of color than the matte color in the Jackie Aina palette. So to prep my eyes for the lashes, I'm just going in with a few coats of mascara using the Big Eyes by Maybelline, which is my favorite mascara. And as you can see now, I'm just doing a little brow bone highlight and I'm just using that gold shade from the same um, palette, the Jackie Arna palette. So now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm making sure I blend all of those colors together. And I went back with another fluffy brush just to dust off that setting powder that we had placed earlier. Um, the good thing about that setting powder, it does catch any fallout that we may get from the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. This is the final look. I'm going to show you guys a few slow motions um, with the eyes open and closed. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my blog at chrissywoods.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.